Hi guys, it's me, Christina. So, body image. I think that we all know that it can be pretty difficult to have a healthy body image, especially for young girls. We are just constantly being bombarded with pictures and videos of what our ideal bodies should look like, and products promising to give it to us. And now with the introduction of social media, there is a whole new pressure to be perfect. We see these online stars rising to fame because they have a beautiful Instagram aesthetic. All of this can be enough to cause insecurity in anyone, but what about when you're living with a chronic illness? What about when you look in the mirror and you see scars and feeding tubes, IV lines, stretch marks, flushing, bruising, atrophied muscles, braces, ostomies, burns, hair loss, monitors, and rashes. Chronic illnesses, even invisible illnesses, can really wreak havoc on not only our physical bodies, but our self-esteem. No matter how confident you are, it can be hard to ignore all of those pictures of those beautiful young ladies with their perfectly flat stomachs and their seemingly effortless tans, not to mention all the praise that they get for it. Now I do want to make it clear that I am not putting those girls down. I am so happy for those girls. I think that often too much blame is put on these girls for being unrealistic or unattainable. As women, we need to remember that those girls are not the enemy of our own healthy body image. We are the enemy. And I know that I'm mostly talking about young women, but hey, you know, I have experience on that subject. But it is important to note that men also struggle with body image. When was the last time you saw a Hollister or Calvin Klein ad? We are not the only ones who are being told what we should look like. Here's the thing on those images and those ads. They are selling you more than just clothes, more than just fitness. They are selling you a lifestyle. They seem to be saying, if you could just look like this, you would be healthy, happy, loved, rich and you would have endless opportunities in front of you. That can be so alluring, especially for those of us who are often stuck at home, stuck in bed, or even in the hospital. The idea of this amazing, beautiful future, that's what we want. The body is just part of the package. Living with a chronic illness is difficult. It's lonely, it's isolating, and it's so hard sometimes not to feel like you're missing out. Because honestly, a lot of times we are. And those emotions are totally valid. But your body is not the enemy. In the past, whenever I have brought up the issue of body image and self-love, I've gotten a lot of questions. The most common one being, how can I learn to love a body that has failed me? And that's a really good question. And there isn't necessarily an easy answer. The way I look at it, Yes, our bodies have a lot of challenges to overcome, but they are working so hard day in and day out to fight for us, to fight for you. Your body has not failed you. It is going to war for you. But like in any war, unfortunately, it's probably going to pick up some battle wounds along the way. I'll be totally honest, it has not been an easy journey for me. I was 10 when I first started to get sick. Just as my body was beginning all of the normal changes of becoming a woman, it also started falling apart. My illness had always been there, but the introduction of these new hormones kicked it way up into high gear. My olive-toned skin grew pale and fragile. My toned gymnast physique grew weaker. My new developing chest put excruciating pain on my back and neck, and as my hips widened, they became more and more unstable. Some days I would wake up and I didn't even recognize myself in the mirror. And half the time I was too exhausted to even, like, take a shower. My wardrobe had to adjust for just about every size between a double zero and a size 10. And it had to accommodate for a various array of braces, pick lines, compression gear, and feeding tubes. But you know what? Today, I look in the mirror and I feel proud. When I see my feeding tube, I am so thankful for the relief and the freedom that it has given me. When I see the scar that runs the length of my body or the one across my throat, I remember that I survived 10 brain and spinal surgeries and that luckily now I am living with a stable spine. And when I see all of the bruises that speckle my body, I feel grateful 
for the blood thinners and the stent that have given me so much of my life back. And yes, I do still see the burns of heating pads, the atrophied muscles, and the hives. <laughs> do I wish they weren't there? Of course. But somehow those things just seem unimportant. I think that having a chronic illness has actually made me appreciate my body more. Because now I truly understand just how much goes into everyday function. And I've been forced to take really good care of it and really listen to what it's trying to tell me. My scars and imperfections serve as a reminder of how far I've come. And there's power in that. So what do you see when you look in the mirror? Your body does not have to look a certain way to be a good body. It doesn't even have to work a certain way. Be kind to it. Be forgiving of yourself. Fill your body with the very best things and please don't take out your negative feelings on it because your body is not your enemy. It is your greatest ally. Thanks for watching guys. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos from me, please subscribe. And if you have a friend who you think might need to hear some of this, go ahead and share it with them. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.